our chairman, Brother C. Ferguson Hill. I want to give honors to his assistant, Brother uh, S. Serrano Bay. That was oh, I'm sorry, it's part of war. El Serrano Bay. I'm getting mixed up with the C Seals. El Serrano Bay. I'm going to give honors to our secretary, Sister J. Jordan Hill. I'm going to give honors to her assistant, Brother I. Smith Bay. Smith Hill. Smith Hill. Smith Hill. I'm going to give honors to the assistant treasurer, Brother K. Turner Bay. I'm going to give honors to man, because when man honors man, he honors his father, God Allah. I want to give honors to everyone on Zoom. I want to give honors to Moors worldwide. I'd like to start off with reading the Divine, Const the Divine Constitutions and Bylaws, Act 1. The Grand Sheik and the Chairman of the Moor Science Temple of America is empowered to make law and enforce laws with the assistance of the Prophet and the Grand Body of the Moor Science Temple of America. The Assistant Grand Sheik is to assist the Grand Sheik in all affairs. If he lives according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And it is known for the members of the Morris Science Temple of America. Act two, all meetings are to be open and closed promptly according to the Circle Seven and love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Friday was our whole day of rest because on a Friday, the first man was formed in flesh and on a Friday, the first man departed out of flesh and ascended unto his father, God Allah. That cause, Friday is the holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Act three, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Morris Science Temple of America. No member is to put in danger or accuse falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister because Allah is love. Act four, all members must preserve these holy and divine laws. All members must obey the laws of the government because being a Moorish American, you are part and partial of the government and must live the life accordingly. Act five, this organization of the Moorish Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow laws, the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. Act six, with us, all members must proclaim their nationality. And we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are part and a partial of this said government and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians, because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the times of slavery. But this is a new era of time now, and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noble Drali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7, all members must promptly attend the meetings and become a part and partial of all uplifting acts of the Morris Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Morris Science Temple of America. And then you are entitled to the name faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look out for the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey fathers and mothers and be husbands and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure in love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from the Holy Prophet, Nobu Ali, through the guidance of his father, God Allah. <laughs> The questionnaire and additional laws. <clears throat> the grand sheiks, excuse me, grand sheiks and governors and heads of all temples and all businesses, each temple must be approved by the Prophet Noble Jurali before acting upon any member. Um, some, yeah, 
Each said temple must be approved by a prophet noble Drew Ali before acting upon by any member, let it be finance, property, or any line of life that will cause the members to sacrifice finances, ETC. Any former officer that violates these laws is subject to be removed from his office under heavy restriction, ETC, by the prophet or the grand chief. Act two, all members are to attend their added meetings and their public meetings promptly. If a member is found standing around on their meeting period, he shall be fined 50 cents on the first case, and on the second, he will be fined $1, which will go in your emergency fund. If a member is working, his monthly dues must be paid. And if he has money in the bank, he must subscribe for as much as he is able to the Moorish Uplifting Fund because it takes finance to uplift a nation. Act three, it is lawful and divine duty of every good member if he is able in finance to aid me in saving the nation. If he does not, he is an enemy to the cause of uplifting his own people and justice must catch him. Let it be he or she, according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, as I have the power invested in my hands, and I have to enforce the law in order to save the nation. Act 4. All members, while making public speech, must not use any assertion towards the American flag or speak radically against the church in foreign outfit. Because we are to teach love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Act 5. All members must promptly attend their meetings and send their children to Sunday school. And the teacher must confirm himself to the questionnaire. And that every member exercises five senses who is able to do so. Because out of the Sunday school comes the guidance of the nation. Act 6. With us, members must proclaim their nationality, and we are teaching our people their nationality and the divine creed, that they may know that they are part and parcel of this said government, and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians, because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now. The all members now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained over to Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. At seven, all members must properly attend their meetings and become part and partial of all uplifting acts of the more science temples. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the more science temple. Then you are entitled to name to the name faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother. And be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. The all Moorish Americans must keep their heart and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This is divine covenant, excuse me. This divine covenant is from the Holy Prophet, Noble Dwali, in the guidance of his father, God Allah. Act 8. Like to turn your attention to the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Circle seven, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Juali, by the guiding of his father, God Allah. To redeem man from the temple and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life, this is with his father, God Allah. We'll take a read in chapter four, chapter three. Chapter three, Elulu blessings, the unity of life. Again, Eluhu met his pupils in the sacred grove and said, No man live unto himself, but every living thing 
bound by cords to every other living thing. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will love and not demand love in return. They will not do to other men <clears throat> what they would not have other men do unto them. There are two selves, the higher self and the lower self. The higher self is human spirit clothed with soul, made in the form of our life. The lower self, the carnal self, body of desires, is the reflection of the higher self, distorted by the mercy ethers of the flesh. The lower self will pass away. The higher self is Allah in man and will not pass away. The higher self is the embodiment of truth. The lower self is truth reversed. So it is falsehood manifest. The higher self is justice, mercy, love, and right. The lower self is what the higher self is not. The lower self breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms. The higher self is the mother of virtues and the harmonies of life. The lower self is rich in promises and poor in blessings and peace. It, off it offers pleasure, joy, and satisfying gain, but gives unrest, misery, and death. It gives men apples that are lovely to the eye and pleasant to the smell, but their eyes are full of bitterness and gall. If you would ask me what to study, I would say yourselves. And when you have well studied them, and then would ask me what to study next, I will reply yourselves. He who knows well his lower self to know the illusions of the world, knows the things that pass away. And he who knows his higher self knows Allah, knows well the things that cannot pass away. Thrice blessed is the man who has made purity and love his very own. He has been ransomed from the perils of the lower self and is himself the his higher self. With that more, I'm going to say peace. And I'm going to turn the meeting over to our Sunday school instructor. Peace. 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 Islam, 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 Islam. Islam. Just say the word in peace to me. Islam, Islam, Islam. I and the bandits, and for our salvation, and we born Americans. I S L A. It's all Muslims, Islam. Just saying the word means peace to me. It's all Muslims, Islam. Who with it call it humanity? Noble Juwali. Open our minds and eyes to see the reason for unity. The more science temple of America, America is where we learn the truth. The brothers and sisters should all. Be sure to bring the you. I am telling you. It's a Muslim's Islam. Just saying the word in peace to me. It's a Muslim's Islam. Islam, Moorish America. Islam. Praise Allah. Islam to the Moors on Zoom. Yo, all the Moors on Zoom. Let's see if we could do this. Let's see if we're trying to get this together. <laughs> all the Moors on Zoom. You want to unmute yourself and say Islam so we know you're there? Islam. Sister Jordan Neal. Sister Jordan Neal, Islam, who else? Islam, Brother Cyrus Hill. Brother Cyrus Hill, Islam, Grand Chief, who else? Islam. Brother Kid Bay. Brother Kid Bay, Islam, who else? All right, all right. Everybody, Everybody on Zoom. Everyone on Zoom. We rise and give praise to Allah. We rise and give praise to Allah. Father of the universe. The Father of the universe. We honor the Prophet Noble Jawali. We give honor to Prophet, honor Noble, to Prophet Noble Jawali. And everything pertaining to Islam. And everything pertaining and everything to Islam. Pertaining to Islam. Praise Allah. All right, we got you, Moors. Uh, we're going to stand by. We're going to give praise and honors in the temple together. Islam, Moors, y'all want to stand up with me? Islam. 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 We rise and give praise to Allah. 
We rise and give praise to Allah, the Father of the universe. Father of the universe. We give honor to Prophet Noble Juali. We give honor to Prophet Noble Juali. The last prophet in these days. The last prophet in these days. The founder of the Moore Science Temple of America. And the founder of the Moore Science Temple of America. We give honor to Brother Marcus Garvey. We give honor to Brother Marcus Garvey. The harbinger to the prophet. The harbinger to the prophet. We give honor to our past supreme grand advisors and moderators. We give honor to our past supreme grand advisors and moderators. Brother C. Kirkman Bay. Brother C. Kirkman Bay. Brother F. Nelson Bay. Brother F. Nelson Bay. And Brother J. Blakely Bay. And Brother J. Blakely Bay. We give honor to our former grand sheep. We give honor to our former grand sheep. Brother R. Love You. Brother R. Love You. We give honor to our present grand sheep. We give honor to our present grand sheep. Brother R. Jones Bay. Brother R. Jones Bay. We give honor to all officials of the Moore Science Temple of America. We give honor to all officials of the Moore Science Temple of America. Uh, national, state, and local. National, state, and local. We give honor to the Grand Governor of the State of New York. We give honor to the Grand Governor of the State of New York. Brother D. Clark Hill. 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 Brother Give honor to the officers of Temple Number Thirty Four. Give honor to the officers of Temple Number Thirty Four. And to our members. And to our members. Give honor to our two flags. Give honor to our two flags. To our charter. To our charter. To our divine constitution and bylaws. To our divine constitution and bylaws. Questionnaire and additional law. Questionnaire and additional law. Give honor to everything the prophet has brought. We give honor to everything the prophet has brought. For the uplifting, fallen humanity. For the uplifting and fallen humanity. Peace. Peace. Praise Allah. And the first question I got. Is do we have the birthday brother? Is he available? <laughs> he had I know he had a lot of partying yesterday over there in <laughs> Delaware. But it's brother B. Jordan here, 12 years old. Is he available, Sister Jordan? Neal? He'll be available. I'll just give him three minutes. Praise a lot. All right. We'll look for him. He's going to be available. It's on more. Who made you? Allah. Allah. Who is Allah? Allah, the Father of the universe. Can we see him? No. Where's the nearest place we can meet him? In the heart. Who is Noble Drew Ali? He, he is Allah's prophet. prophet. What is a prophet? A prophet. The thought of Allah manifested in the flesh. What is the duty of a prophet? To save nations from the wrath of Allah. Brother uh, Jordan Neal, name one of the prophets of Allah. Uh, Adam. Adam. Tell me something about Adam. Adam was the first it's on, that right? created. Oh, excuse me. Praise and honor is already given. Adam was the first man created. Praise Allah. Praise brother, Allah. brother Skipper Beck, give me a prophet of Allah. Jesus. Tell me something about him. He came to save the Israelites from the high and oppression of the first two nations of Europe to recover the fortunes of Palestine at that time. Praise Allah. Brother Ani Beck, this song. The prophet of Allah. Tell me something about Noah. They saved people on the earth from their sleep on by bringing them in the, in the ark. All right. Brother K. Turnabin, prophet of Allah. Like a few, but I'm going to talk right now about Lot. Okay. Tell me something about Lot. So Lot was chosen to save his people. From the wrath of Allah, the sovereign, the sovereign, the sovereign. Okay, thank you, Sister Seals here, Prophet of Allah. Well, everybody went over the, you know, Prophet of Duali. Okay, tell me something about him. He came to the Asiatics of North America, letting them know they were in black, Negro, African American, colored, or Ethiopian in the 20s. Okay, so Sister <laughs> Jordan there seems like she wants to throw down some. Some bars, or you want to spit? I don't know what they call it now, but we're gonna have to get some music behind that. All right, and that's the attempt. When you see Brother Clinton Bates singing, I'm trying to sing. See, I would not volunteer for the choir or anything like that. I just listen to Luther Vandross, admire his voice. Brother, Brother Clark, he has a nice voice. Brother Ferguson, him. I'm not that guy. So if y'all don't help with the singing, that's what you're gonna get. Brother it's fine. You see what I'm saying? Are oh, you a singer, Sister Jordan? Hill? No, Islam. I have Brother B. Jordan Neal here, though. Brother B. Jordan Neal, Islam. Islam. And praise to Allah, honest to the Prophet, and everything pertains to Islam. Islam, how are you doing today? I'm good. You good? How old are you? Uh, 12 years old. 12, 1 and 2 add up to what? Ask him to repeat if you didn't hear him. Sorry, could you repeat that? 
How much? You said you're 12. That's one, two is 12, right? How much is one and two? Three. That's right. That's a trinity. That's a three year, bro. It's a year short of being a teenager. I send you something today. Hopefully you get a chance to think about what I sent you, okay? Okay. Who made you? Allah. At what age did you begin to teach? At the age of 12. All right. Tell me something that you could teach somebody. You're out there in school, society. What is something that the prophet gave you? Or one of the prophets gave you that you use in your life or you could teach someone something? What, what could you teach someone at 12? Why don't you tell them what you taught your cousin yesterday? He doesn't, he didn't hear you. Your father just said something to you. Uh, he ran away. Cousin Jayani yesterday. What did you teach your cousin yesterday? He doesn't know what you're talking about. All right, how about this? How about you teach your little brother and your little sister how to listen to their mother and father by showing them how you do it? <laughs> All right, brother, man, I'm not going to hold you too long, but thank you so much, Mo. Have a great day. Praise Allah. All right. Praise Allah. What does it say on the charter? What does it say on the charter of the Morris Science Temple of America about the prophets, Brother Turnberry? About the prophets. We just talked about the different prophets. You mentioned Lot. We talked about Noah. There's a statement that the prophet made about prophets of Allah on the charter. Do you have any thought about it? Do you have any memories about that? Um, I haven't really had an opportunity to study the charter. Okay, okay. Well, praise Allah. Just so happened. I got you. Brother, uh, I'm going to take that out. You got to say something? I think it says um, to promote and practice the teachings of all the Bible prophets. Yes. Yes. It says right here. Promote is at the bottom of this paragraph right here, brother. To promote the practice and the teaching, right down here. You have to write in this on the chart. I'll try to mm -hmm. put it out. To promote the teachings and practices. This was a major thing for me. Because I was told that you can't bring all the religions together. Therefore, you couldn't use religion as a unifying force. Because the Christians saying, well, you got to do what Jesus said. And then the Muslims are saying, if you don't do what Muhammad said, you know, etc. And this was saying we promote the teachings and practices of all the prophets. So now listen, Buddha was a prophet of India, Islam. of Allah. Praise Allah. Right? Praise Allah. Lot was a prophet of Allah. Jesus was a prophet of Allah. Noah was a prophet of Allah. Prophet of Ujwali is a prophet of Allah. All represent the same great God. So he's not going to teach you, have Brother Muhammad teach something different than Buddha's teaching and teach. Now, what, what kind of sense would that make? So it must be my misunderstanding or non-comprehension of them all together. So then when I saw that, I said, okay, this is what I have to do now. So when I go and I meet my Catholic, Christian, whatever situation, I promote the teachings and practices of Jesus. And they're like, oh, oh. And then I throw in something about Muhammad. They go, oh. You see what I'm saying? If you're speaking to someone about Muhammad, right? I'm Laken, brother. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And then, yeah, you know, Muhammad came again. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? But this way, it's kind of like, what do they call that person in the court, Sister Seals, or whatever? I don't understand what the judge and the lawyer is saying. And you have to get me to understand this. I have a person who translates. Oh. A translator, right? Yeah. All right. So now you have a universal key to start the conversation. Because these teachers are for all those that love. Jesus. So your auntie love. Jesus. Right? So we want to we want to think about that. So praise Allah. What is your nationality, Claire? Moorish American. Why are we Moorish American? Because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America. For what purpose of what excuse me, for what purpose was the more science of America founded? For the uplifting of all humanity. For the uplifting of all humanity. All right, let's go to the Morris literature. Do we have our Morris literature? 
Do we have, I know I've walked some more literature down. Do we have some up here? And a few out. Yeah. There might be some up back here. So. We should have more have more literature. I think I gave some out. How many people need it? Some. Some. Okay. How did the Morris literature come about? Balani Bay. Morris literature. You know the history of this? All right, let's skip a bit. No, no, not that. All right. Well, I'm not, it's not a trick question then. There's articles that appeared in the Morris Guide, proclamation statements by the prophet. Like you see the warning in here. We read it every day. And Brother Lovio put it together because we read from last, last time I was here two weeks ago, we read from Humanities. Humanities was the same thing. The Morris put together some of the articles, proclamations of the prophets, and they put them together and they had a book called the Humanities Pamphlet. And they had it for many years. All right. And then Brother Lovio became the leader in what year? Brother Smithfield, Brother R. Lovio became the leader of the Morris Science of America in what year? The song. The person I was already given. I'm not sure the year, but I would say in the 70s. Not sure the year, but the 70s. Brother, Brother Serrano Bay, right out from the street. So what year? His song. Praise the Lord. for the prophet. Well, like my twin brother, <laughs> younger brother. <laughs> uh, brother Lovia, what year did he become the grand chief of the Morris Science of America? 1969. And, incorrect. So we're going to go over it again. We're going to go over each one real quick because you're writing it down in your notebook or you're putting it in your pad and your laptop, your memory, if you're that, right? So everyone knows the prophet passed in what year? We'll turn it in. What year the prophet passed? 1929. 1929. Brother C. Curtin Bay, the first Supreme Grand Advisor. 1929 to when? Sister, Sister, uh, I'm going to call you Sister Lovely. Sister uh, Seals here. Brother C. Curtin Bay, 1929 is the leader to when? 1929 until 1931, I don't think. No, no, no. Let's think about it. 135. No, it's nice okay. try, nice try. Brother, Brother Sarah, okay. 1929 to no, 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 but you got the nine. Good to remember the nine. 59. 59. Remember the nine. 29, 59, 30 years. But Lovey used to always say I was the leader longer than Brother Curtin been because he was 31 years. Okay. Yeah, yeah, or whatever. What does that mean? I don't know. But, you know, he mentioned it. 29, 59, 30 years. 29, 59, 29, 59, 29, 59. Sister Jordan Neal, Islam. Sister Brother Kid Bay. Islam. It's on Brother Kid Bay. Brother, Brother C. Curtin Bay was the leader from what years? Uh, <laughs> that one I don't know, Granny. Oh. oh. Come on, Moore's Joel and Koran. Islam. Three times. 29. Who's going to bail him out? 29 and 59 in Brother Loveville. Uh, but the uh, love that went from uh, to 71, 1971, I believe, based on a 31 year math. All right, 71 to 2002 for Bolivia. All right, and then you had in the middle, you had brother, brother F. Nelson Bay, known as going down to Moorish Home number what? Moorish Home number one in Prince George. Moorish Home number one, Prince George, what state? Virginia. Okay, All right? What temple did brother F. Nelson Bay come from? What temple? What skip a bit? F. Nelson Bay. History more. F. Nelson Bay, second Supreme Grand Advisor and Monterey. Temple in Detroit, number four. Very good. We'll turn it back. Number four in Detroit. And he had a background in agriculture. I think he might even have a degree in it. And so Brother Curtin Bay asked him to go down there with some more. All right? 1959 and 62. Both of these past Supreme Grand Advisors passed in office. All right? Then we have Brother Blakely Bay. Obviously, from 62 to Brother Lovey of 71. The only first Supreme Grand Advisor Monterey didn't pass an order was voted out of. Well, not voted, but Lovey was voted in. So look at it different ways. Okay, voted out, it wasn't voted in again. All right? So those are the leadership. Brother Surround Bay, it's on. It's on, praise the Lord. You, you know, got me thinking. I know Brother Jay Blake, the Bay was also from Temple Number Four. But uh, F. Nelson Bay is from Temple Number Four. 
for the R love ill is from Islam, praise the Lord. He opened the door more. <laughs> well, all of the joined temple. I don't know why he joined the 50, but what temple did he join when he joined? Yes. What state? Well, love you. Well, all of you, Detroit policeman, I'm helping another. Oh, -ho! so temple number four or 25. You tell me. <laughs> We're guessing. <laughs> temple 25. Later on, move to a temple that many of us, like Brother Kippy and myself, have on our nationality card. You see all the time, 43 inches, right? Mount Clemens, Michigan. What temple is that? Well, Anibe, Islam, Mo. Some more just came through the door, more. They rushed in the hallway, about 10 of them. Do you see? You're at the door, right? Is it possible for 10 more to rush through that door and rush past us? Cashew? I ain't think so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you got babies here. Got a sister here. All right. All right. Temple 43, Mount Clemens, Michigan. Who's the grand sheet there today? Sister Seal deal. Temple 43. Gotta know, gotta know your stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna say about the TI girl as <laughs> well, listen, at least on the test, there are multiple to choose, right? You take a shot, right? <laughs> I know a lot of grand sheets. Well, Harris Hill. Oh, uh, H. Harris Hill? No, no, that's that's Grand Governor Washington. Nice try. So, who's, which Harris Hill is this? We got we to do better, Morris. <laughs> well, you can always go to the temple. You can go to the temple locator. <laughs> All you Moors, I mean, you, you this brother here, he's right on a computer Wi Fi. H hasn't been up Come on, pull it up. Pull it up, Will Smith. Pull it up, Temple Locator, 1913.org. You're right there. Pull it up on our website. Pull it up, Temple Locator. Anyway, we're back to the Moorish literature here. Let's go to page 20. No, let's, let's go to page 18. Islam, sister, M. Serrano Bay. All right, come on. Can you answer this question for me first? Yeah. Where, where's your turn? <laughs> I knew it was coming. She wasn't ready for that question. <laughs> you want to ask me questions? I got questions. <laughs> well, listen, let me let me press my hand. It's on. Okay. Look at me. Look at me. The turban don't make the system. The system makes the turban. Okay? okay? You make your turn. Don't define you. You define it. All right. Turn around the moors. You want to tell the moors? Come back, come here, come here, come back. Next to Godfather of the Right here. That's the brother, that's brother that's Jordan Neal. Yes. You have a question for the young sister. Give me a question. Who made you? Allah. Well, skip it back. Question for the young sister. Who is your law? Allah. Well, Ani Bay. Question for the young sister. Who is Jesus? Okay. <laughs> he was a prophet? Get him. Get him. Thank you. Brother Turner Bay, question for the young sister. What is your nationality? Sister Seals, a question for the young sister. What do the five points represent? Yes, what do the points represent? What do the five points represent? Love? Come on. True? What's next? P? Okay, Mother well, Smithfield, question for the young sister. Right here, Mother Smithfield, right over here. Islam. Islam. Can you recite the Marsh American Prayer? Okay. Go ahead, recite it for us. <laughs> She's not going to be in Is that how we do it with your twist? I don't know. Let me try that. How do we do it like this? Hey, which way do you face? Which way do we face? Each this way. The March American Prayer. How do you start it off? All right, and what? Stop hamming it up. See, you're, you're looking at yourself in the face. Stop. Look this way. Uh, that's why you're coming up here to be on the TV. You like to be on TV? Okay, have a seat. Thank you so much. I do what's going on. All right, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Praise Allah. Praise Allah. So now, brother. This All right. Like that. <laughs> to the Moors literature, Moors. So this is a very important article. If you if you don't know the aspects of this article by now. And you've been in an organization for two, four, five, six years. I don't know what the problem is, but I'm gonna make a point of it today. You should know this. If you're if you're if you're a sheet, you should know this. If you're a minister, you should recite this. Different things. You don't have to know it by heart. You know the different sections of it. And what's he's talking about? Remember, it's the Morris leaders historical. Islam. Islam by Lex McFeel was muted. Islam. All right. We're talking about the Prophet Noble Jawali and Historical Message to America. Page 18. This Moorish literature was put together by Brother R. Lavia, who served from what year did Brother Lavia serve from? Brother Skipper Bay. Brother R. Lavia served from what year to what year? Um, he said 59. I ain't saying nothing about 59. I said seal bill. 71. Two? 2001. Two. 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 How many years did he say? 31 years? Was it 31 years from Brother F. Nelson Bay? From the... So was it from 31 years from Brother J. Blakely Bay? Or was it 31 years in succession? Now you said he ran longer than Brother Kirkman Bay by one year, which was 17 years. Okay. I got, I got you. Thank you so Praise much. And I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> so this way we, we can just refresh our memories, right? Or we can order, we can order it's a centennial book, right? So people were asking about the organization, all right? And I want you to read the first paragraph here with me. And just to share, share vision, I shared it with one of our grand governors. He has a very powerful voice if you heard him speak. So just imagine this in the vision, but I want to add this. Around there, appreciate this. Let's say we're at the Schomburg Center for Research in Paul. We have an event about the Morris Science of America, right? Turn and Bay. You don't like the place? Sorry, no, I you know, the inner mom peeked out. It says Brother Khalid Kid Bay is on with me as well now. So when you were asking about the youth. Brother Kid Bay followed the directions by putting the comment in the chat. And so I just thought that, you know. His son's on? His son is on. His son, Brother Kid Bay. <laughs> Islam. Islam, you have a young man with you? Yes, I do. Do we get faces? We don't get faces. We just get, I, I'll, I'll work with what I got. <laughs> yeah. 
It's on, Mo. It's on. It's on, Bay. How you doing, Mo? Good. Good? How old are you? Ten. Ten. I saw you on the basketball game. Are you got any game? I saw you on the court. You got a little shot or something? You got a little move? <laughs> yeah. All right, you got to work on that. Who made you? Allah. And who is Allah? Pop him out. Come on, don't leave him like that. You know, leaning in close. He you know he told him. <laughs> He's the father of the universe. <laughs> father of the universe. I, I, yeah, you said you said 10 years old, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said you're yeah. 10 years old? Yeah. Because because I remember a show, I don't know if they're because you know, you're smarter than a fifth grader, and you should be somewhere around fifth grade, right? Yeah, I'm in for fifth grade. Oh, you're in fifth grade? So from, to represent all the fifth graders in America, tell us what the universe is. Allah is the father of the universe. Tell us at a 10-year-old, what is the universe? Don't look at your father. Nah, 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 nah. You're 10 years old in fifth grade. What's the universe? Think of the solar system. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You can't leave my, come on. He's 10 years old. Come on. Tell us the, what's the uh, universe? Okay. Oh, Check the chat. Okay. <laughs> What's the universe, brother? It's everything. Praise Allah. See, see oh, all, he had, all he had to go inside himself, and all I gave him the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great day, Mo. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Praise Allah. So this historical message to America. So I had this vision, right, in my mind. And in this vision, we're all gathered at the Schomburg. In my vision, we got tables in the back with nationality cards, membership applications. Brother Smith Neal there, Sister Jordan Neal there. We got a couple other more volunteering. Ready, people want to join. In the beginning of our presentation, lights are down low. And up on the stage, it's one of those things where they have the, have like the lights on, which is like behind the, uh, the curtain and it's like a shadow. So you don't see anyone, you just see a shadow. But you can see the person got a fez on. And this person in the shadow with the fez on comes to the front of the podium. And this brother that got this beautiful voice says, in connection with the aims, objects, rules, and regulations of the Morris Science Temple of America. And this brother got a nice deep bass voice. I deem it proper, you know, like Marcus Garvey. Like, you know, it's just one thing reading it and you read it like a, when a poet writes their poem, they just don't read the words, they read it with feeling. And I loved him to the last of my days with every breath I breathe. You see what I'm saying? So this brother would say this. He would go over these thoughts. It says here, I deem it proper to submit to you a brief statement of our organization, covering its inception, rise, and progress of the Mohammedan religion. I, I just say in my mind, it's just such an impactful, now with digital things, we could probably have it on the side, written, so they could follow along with the words are. You know, we could probably have a portrait of the prophet and Garvey, you know. We could have sound. I'm just saying, whatever the Moors want to do, but I'm just saying in my mind, the presentation of a historical message 100 years later to America. Maybe you think about something 1928, 2028, 100 years. But I'm just saying. So, But in this, I hope it will be satisfactory to you to the means of causing you at all times to adhere to the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice in your relation with mankind in general. I further most anxiously hope this brief statement, this brief statement, this public policy, our statement, brief statement from the prophet, will help you to more clearly see the duty and wisdom and at all times upholding those fundamental principles, which are desired for our civilization of our posterity. What's posterity for the Smithian? Islam. So my understanding posterity has to deal with your lineage, your family, your, lineage, or your children, legacy. your grandchildren, your posterity. 
So what do we want to do, Brother Turnabay? What is so important? What are the things that the prophet thinks is so important that, you know, these fundamental principles that, that Brother Kempe wants to make sure his son knows, you want to know what your children know, we all, what are these fundamental principles that we stand for here in the Morris Science Cup America? All right? Obedience. That's the first thing he said. Obedience to law. What's the next thing he said? Respect. Loyalty to government. There's, there's no comma between um, comma, comma, comma. So that's respect and loyalty. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. No, you're good. Thank you. Uh, tol tolerance. And unity. Is that what you teach? When you're out there and you're talking about the Morris Science Temple of America. Are these the fundamental principles that you have adhere to? Obedience to law? That could be the law of the house, right? Well, Jordan? Right? Michaela understands that, right? Right? James, Brandon, and 12, we definitely understand that, right? The law of the land, the law of the sea, right? Brother Turner Bay, Admiralty Law, right? The law of the sea, the law of the land, the law of your organization, the, the, the rules and regulations of your co-op board, your condo. I mean, come on. At your job, right? Obedience. And the prophet says in the first convention that we will not have any, we make any law that will be what? At variance. The state, the county, the government, right? Because we're in obedience to law. What does it say, talk about? Obedience to law in our divine constitution of Bible, Brother Jordan. Act one. Two. Brother Smithia. Psalm Act Four. Act four. All members must preserve these holy and divine laws. All members must obey the laws of the government. Because by being a Moorish American. By being a Moorish American, following Prophet Noble Drawley, promoting the teachings and the practices of the Prophet, obedience to law, respect and loyalty to the government, tolerance and unity. Go turn it back. Okay, so it's one of my rides to give praise to the law and to the Prophet. Like, you got the uh, Constitution of Bible you just read. Kind of have a lot of conflict, right? And there's a lot of uh, differential of which government it's pertaining to, right? So, you know, it's an argument that it's pertaining to this government, uh, the more science temple of America and not the United States of America. Now, I wonder why would he would be, it would be specifically written out which government, you know. Um, I would think because certain other places it's it's separated and written out, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and just like it says here, uh, you know, respect and loyalty to government. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really, you know, specify which government, right? So mm -hmm. you, a law is specific. You have to be because then it can be interpreted by anybody if it's not specific. If it's not specific, Somebody can say, you know, oh, it means this, or no, it means that, which adds to confusion. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you no know, one is the author of confusion. So um, is it written or did they rectify that anywhere to uh, which government he was speaking to? Yes, um, I, I never I never knew it was an issue. Never, oh. I, all the Moorish Americans, I heard a few people on the on the side who trying to say something else. 
the laws of the government of the United States government. This is the more scientific America of America. All right? This is... I'm going to go skip a bit because he had his hand. We're talking about this government because um, on chapter 7, I mean, well, page 7 of the Moorish literature, mm -hmm. um, it says, I and I the prophet do hereby believe that through this administration of the government being more widely prepared by more genius citizens mm -hmm. that believe in their free national constitution and laws. And through the help of such classes of citizens, I the prophet truly believe that my people will find the true and divine way of their forefathers and learn to stop serving cardinal customs and merely ideas man that have never did them any good but just always harm them. So we're talking about this government and us finding our way through this government but having our own traditional practices and teachings and religion and so on because the government that we're dealing with at this present time is the same government but the people aren't the same so I would believe that more genius citizens had set this government up but those genius citizens aren't here today Thank you. Praise the Lord. Return back. You had your hand up. Yes. Yeah, so, um, again, I don't want to take away from what you might have uh, prepared too much on this topic either. But again, that was specific, brother Stephen uh, Bay. Right. Again, they speak to the administration of the government. Again, you know, words are real serious. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why I want to know, like, is there something like people may say, right? Mm -hmm. To me, that's a custom if it's not specific. Because it's the mention of the separation in the uh, uh, Constitution of Bowels, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to be more specific. So, you know, if you do have someone that un know and understands that what you say uh, legally mm -hmm. is uh, you have to be specific because when you speak in the terms of law, every word has a definition, right? So if, if it can't be interpreted different ways. So it can't be argued in this aspect. You can say he's speaking of the government, but it's not really you know because it's not specific. You know, that's all I'm well, praise the Lord. It's like in the same way a person can't say it's talking about that because it's not specific. Right. So so if I go to something specific and not just take a portion of the prophet's teachings and try to analyze just that one sentence or one thought, but look at what the prophet is doing as a whole, then I know better exactly what the prophet's saying. It might not be specific. But I have to understand, and that's what I'm going over here now. And let me just add on to this. I'll get right to you. Let me get on to this. Prophet makes pleas to the nation. So if you want to be specific, it is the great God Allah alone that guides the destiny of this divine and national movement. I know all true American citizens. Blank statement. Don't ask me what does that mean? If I'm in Mexico, no, you're not an American citizen in New Mexico, not in Colombia. Well, I'm in America, right? But the understanding here is an American citizen is someone that's a citizen in the USA. You want to say, well, it's America. Yeah, you can say that, but that's not the meaning. That's not the context. But go ahead. American citizens are identified by national descent names to answer and apply to the free national constitution of this free national republic of the United States of America. I think that's pretty specific here. As a matter of fact, that's like the official name that most people don't even know is said. Look at where the prophet said, the free national republic of the United States of America. That's why I'm calling on all true national citizens to help me morally and financially in my great work I am doing to help this national government. All right. So now it's not specifically saying that, but I'm thinking, I'm not understanding. My portion is that we're talking about the United States of America. He goes on to say, but without a free national name, with a decent flag of your forefathers, he's talking about the Moors, he's talking about the Moors flag. There is not a national divine title of the government in which we live. 
So now, when I read this whole paragraph, and you can read the rest, am I to believe that in on one hand, he's talking about the United States government, republic, and then in another sense, he's talking about the Moorish government, but we don't need our flag to make us, that doesn't make sense. It seems like they need our Moorish flag to make this government right. You see what I'm saying? So, but more, let me let me go some more secretary's time. I just want to get out this thought before we lose it. And we can get back to that thought. But let me get right back to the Moorish literature. All right, because I want to point out some things. All right. So we're talking about here an historical message to America. We're talking about some fundamental principles. But I want to go over them again. What are these fundamental principles? Obedience to law, respect and loyalty to government. So whether I'm living in the United States government right now, the Moorish American, or I'm in a Moorish government 700 years ago, or I'm in the Egyptian government in Egypt, it's, it's a principle that you have. That you're part of this state. You're part of this nation. You're part of this. And there's a relationship. Just like I was talking to before about Confucius. It was so important. I was like looking, why is Confucius? What's important about Confucius? And he put it on the National Anthem. Like, the more that Confucius said that. So I started looking at it. I started looking at it from the beginning. And Confucius was born and it was a state of turmoil in China. Eight different nations. And they're fighting against each other. And I started thinking, yeah, all these different rare bodies, all these different nations we have fighting against each other. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to figure out a way how to bring them together. Grant Sheep always talked about that, bringing together in unity. And so he, he reached back into a golden age of China when they didn't have all these wars. And he tried to see what was going on in that age that was keeping the people a certain way. And it was this understanding of relationships and respect for your family. The, the simple relationship between a teacher and a student. It was like these simple things and he created these traditions and these rituals that they do to, to up to this day. And in these rituals, that's why a Chinese person, if he's sitting there and you got a classroom with a teacher, professor, whatever, they would never think of talking back to them. They would never, matter of fact, it's a relationship you only should have like with a parent. And the same thing with your parent. You know what? You know when they have the Chinese New Year's, one thing I learned by doing the research, Chinese New Year's, everyone heard of that? During the Chinese New Year is when the most people on the planet move at one time. Because you got a billion people in one land that's trying to get home for Moorish New Year to respect their ancestors. Factories shut down, people travel distances, they don't go to school. I mean, we just hear Chinese New Year. This is a big thing for them. And it's so big that you got a billion people moving around this country, the most people in the world at one time moving, trying to get to their places they got to get to respect their people. And so I read that, I was like, wow. So when you see, these are not just, just something I'm writing down. If inside of you, you do not have a fundamental feeling of obedience to the Lord, that's not how it was. I was growing up in my neighborhood. There's no fundamental obedience to law. We was robbing and stealing. We was running into candy stores and doing all kind of stuff. You had that, brother Skip a bit, back in Queens. You remember, do we have a fundamental obedience to law? It's to the street. That's all I'm going to have, man. That's all. That's all. Well, that fundamental obedience to law is true, but that law has to fit within your divine constitution. Yeah, it'd be just law. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Can't be, I know. It can't be contrary mm -hmm. to the law of the prophets. There you go. Because the law of the prophet is one law. That's the it. The law of the prophets mm -hmm. is one law. Mm -hmm. That's to the, the one and true God and to his prophets and his divine law. Handed down by his prophets. There's only one law. Truth is but one. And that's what the prophets have brought that one and divine team. So if we're adhering to the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, that law is in all, all religions. All religions. That's why you can say our religion is Islam. Ism. 
because Islam ism applies to all the religions. That's why you can say something about Buddha. You can say something about mm -hmm. Muhammad. You can say something about Jesus. You can say something about any of the prophets that the scriptures uh, uh, talk about and speak mm -hmm. about. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tolerance, the prophet said in a further part of the, uh, one of his articles that he says, tolerance is better than unwarranted opposition. See how you end up? It's not right. yeah, yeah, I get back yeah. to Brother Smith. For about eight minutes, Grand Sheep. Eight right? minutes. I just want you to let you Take know that the prophet says, how long would your hand up? So, because I'll put your Sunday school because the guidance of the nation. No more circumscribing our questions, Grand oh. Unfortunately, we have to express these things. Okay. Pops. I'm glad you had a minute to stretch the right, so uh, next. But, but just a thought, right? <laughs> so um as you were speaking about, I think it's very important to note that um within the prophet's communication here, he also um a divine warning by the prophets of the nations, and I, the prophet, do hereby believe that this administration of the government mm -hmm. being more wisely prepared mm -hmm. by more genius citizens mm -hmm. that believe in their free national constitution mm -hmm. and laws and through the help of such classes it's of well. citizens. Mm -hmm. I, the prophet, truly believe that my people will find the true and divine way of their forefathers and learn to stop serving carnal customs. So just tying back in against what was just said by with Brother um, Skipper Bay, and merely I and merely ideas of man that have never done them any good, but have always harmed them. So when I when you talk about that government, I think that we understand that concept within our divine constitution and bylaws that we're still a part and partial. There may be some things that are permitted by the law mm -hmm. that we have to understand that regardless of what, we still have to use the prophet and his measure of character mm -hmm. against how we partake, well, not and, and within the government. But if we open a business, we still have to adhere to the law. We still have to adhere to the things related to the church, LGBTQ, and all those other things. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so this, and just to remind them, this isn't like a sovereign government. Not at it's all. Moorish nation. That's right. Our allegiance is to America. What do you call the nation? More, what? Huh? You said a nation and the... a nation within the republic. All right. So we, you know, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to. For the turn again? I think people get the word sovereign taken out of context, mm -hmm. right? And um, because of certain actions, right? Mm -hmm. So you know. When you dealing with the United States, it's set up for each man to be that way. That's just the way the government is set up. Mm -hmm. Now we've chosen people to take that power and use it for us nationally, mm -hmm. right? Now you can't say what what I think you're hitting on, but you got to be specific because you don't want to rub everybody the wrong way, right? We don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. You can't say that we're not sovereign because every man is king of his own castle. Remember that precept here in America? Mm -hmm. So you, it's like, it's, it's, it's a lot of precepts I feel that we should be more so specified. Mm -hmm. So we have a, 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 a specific understanding so that we are not pushing away people that, you know, we could bring in because we don't know how to uh, express it properly so they can comprehend because, you know, they know what they're seeing. People know the truth. So it's not like you, you can't say, oh, what? Well, wait a minute. The law says this, but somebody else is saying this. So now that's more confusing. So that's all I'm going to say. Brother Slingle, we're going to have his hand for a while, too. Okay. We're going to go to Brother Smithfield. Go to Brother, oh, that's really man. Brother Smithfield. Okay. We're we'll going go to Brother Salamo Bay. Then we got Brother Cyrus Hill. And we're going to go to Brother Jordan. Brother Salamo Bay. Islam, all? Islam, Islam, Muslims. Praise Allah, honest to our holy and divine prophet, Prophet Noble Jew Ali. Also, I have some issues with this camera. Honest to all the Muslims in effect out there in the temple. Honest to all things that the um, Grand Sheik and the chairman gave honest to. I want to give honest to the Muslims and on um, that, that demonstration that was brought about by our brother, K. Turner Bay. You know, um, I'm not going to go into my, my personal, you know, feelings on the matter. But when um, the brother brought up that, you know, all law is specific, that's a right and exact 
that is definitely a right and exact precept. And I just wanted to point out that the prophet obviously understood that and was aware of that. So in Act 5, the prophet states, this organization of the Morris Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government. So when the prophet puts said government in there, that in law lets you know that it refers to a previously referred to idea or thought within that same document. So the prophet did adhere to those lawful standards by defining the government as a said government that is referred to previously in that same said document. Islam, peace and love, Morris. Hey. 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 I'll get right to verse. Uh, I'll get right to you, verse. Uh, sorry for one second. So just to understand what I was talking about, let's say take any it's a land of man, island or whatever, right? You have a nation on there. What I mean by a sovereign nation is that everyone in here can make their own laws, do whatever they want. They got an army, they got a government, they got everything. No, no, no one else, no other nation. They're not a part and partial of their they're sovereign, they're by themselves. They have a standing army, a standing government, rule over this particular perpetual of land. This is a, a portion of my understanding of it without going specific. So that's what I meant. I wasn't talking about an individual. What I mean by that is that you have many nations within this republic. The Moorish nation is one, the Cherokee nation is another, you know, Seminole is another nation, you know. And, and so when I mentioned before in the nationality laws of the United States of America, it was trying to understand this relationship between the brothers and sisters that came out of slavery and the so-called Native Americans and all these treaties and everything happened because some of them, like I mentioned, was fighting with the Confederates and they lost. So the treaty you had former is null and void. I can make up new treaties. You fought me. So they made up new treaties. Some of this treaty series, if you see some of the former treaties that was before 1865 were null and void. They made up new treaties and now in a better position to make the treaty in their favor. And now you have this group of people working within this republic. So out, out of the, say, 1890s, 1900s, they had all these different laws on how a person can retain their culture and their identity and still exist here in the United States of America. And that's part of the 1928 Pan-American Conference. Well, the Buspamani Code, I think it's called. But in this, this is why I said the prophet was representing the Moors, right? He had uh, Secretary Hughes represent the United States, and some Indian uh, chief or, or representative for Native Americans. So that's what I meant. I didn't mean to say like sovereignty is in the people. Yes, that's the concept. So, and you got to think about it. That's a new era of time. All right. So we talked about that sovereignty being in the king or in the sultan or in the pharaoh. Right. But Brother Cyrus Hill, Brother Jordan, I think, was he saying? Brother Cyrus Hill? His son, Gretchen. His son, praise God, is already given. Um, I wanted to uh, speak to this question. At the core of the conversation, uh, there's a question about whether or not this ultimate way of viewing our participation in the U.S. government is what the prophet intended uh, under the radar or directly or indirectly. Or he wanted us to fully participate as American citizens, which is um, my take on it. And with that, I, was, I would say that when you read this particular article, in the uh, Sicilian just read an excerpt from a divine warning by the prophet for the nation. So, more what page you're on? It's uh, the part she read was from page uh, seven. Mm -hmm. It was the uh, third paragraph in the uh, left hand column. Mm -hmm. you, you want to take into consideration at any time. I'm trying to decipher the meaning of the what the prophet said in the chapter or in a, 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 a you know a charge a mission. You got to take in the context of the whole statement. And um, yeah, I, I'm going to not go off on a tangent on context about, I was listening to a, a, a demonstration on the chapter of justice or using utilizing a certain word, like the word driving. Does driving mean an automobile or does it driving mean in a certain context, cattle? Yeah. Driving cattle, like leading wrong. people, leading things. It doesn't mean an automobile, it means leading things. And that context it's is very wrong. important to comprehend with the message. It's in, the, in this, um, in navigation, thank you. In this particular chapter, when he's talking about principles all throughout, neg negative principles of our people. It starts off in the very beginning. It says, um, it is a, this is a, from the first statement, and it is a sin for any group of people to violate the national constitutional law 
of a free national government and cling to the names and principles that delude to slavery. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the principles that delude to slavery. Uh, later on, and all throughout the chapter, he's talking about uh, the things he, he says in his uh, third paragraph. He says, I need the support from all true American citizens in the United States to help me to save my people who have fallen from the constitutional laws of government. And I'm depending on your support to get them back to the constitutional uh, fold again, that they will learn to love instead of hate and living according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Then in the statement after that, he talks about what it takes to be a true citizen. He said, if um, these Chinese, British, uh, uh, Japanese, the Greeks have to be a citizen by saying who they are. We, he's talking about us. We have to. Mm -hmm. And in the statement, this was the one that uh, Brother Jeffrey Hill said that he said at the convention, the prophecy at the convention, that the president of the United States was president. So he's, he's, he's probably basically barking at us and saying, you, you have to do something too, which is tighten your bootstraps up. Mm -hmm. It ends after the paragraph that was uh, read. He talks about, he said, said this most poor statement. So my point is that this statement in here, the principle that he's talking about is not the principles of the Constitution and whether or not are, those are carnal. He's talking about our principles of how we carry ourselves. And I would say read the entire part of that last part where it says, uh, in, in, uh, he says, uh, so I had a prophet by everybody calling out a divine boy, uh, plea to all true American citizens to help me remove this great sin which has been committed and it's being practiced by my people in the United States, etc. Mm -hmm. Read that part. That's a harsh criticism. Mm -hmm. He's talking about those part of principles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let's see, we got Brother Skipper Bay and Brother Jordan here. Did I miss so much? Oh, and then we're gonna go. I'll get right to you, but let me let me go to him for okay. quick. Brother Surround the outside and see you behind me. Right. Yeah, but I'll be really quick with you. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a letter that was issued by Prophet Noah Dwa Lee's brother T. Crumb Bay during the time that. Brother James Homax Bay was uh, accused of embezzlement. And so there was a letter that was written by Prophet Nobu Ali, and I just want to read the last part. Mm -hmm. It says, when man fails after being placed head of the temple by the prophet of obeying our divine laws and constitutions, he is a traitor and enemy to the divine creed and unloyal to the national government of the United States of America, to which the movement is to make men and women better citizens. Thank you, Brother Skipper Bay, Brother Jordan. You know, I, I was gonna read this again because this is what I got out of this here, um, where it talks about um, page seven, where it talks about I probably thereby believe that this administration of the government being more widely prepared by more genius citizens. Those genius citizens, see this administration of the government was prepared by more genius citizens. Genesis citizens that came before them, right? And predecessors, more genius citizens that believe in their free national constitution. See this constitution ain't really new. It was handed down on someone handed down who prepared and talked about them being prepared by more genius citizens. Who are those genius citizens? Those it's genius well, citizens well, well, are us, <laughs> our forefathers. Yeah. We taught the, uh, well, well. the ones that wrote up the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. We taught them. We are those genius citizens that the prophet is talking about. But those are our, these laws are the laws of our forefathers. Huh? And, and he's speaking about it right here. He ain't mentioning no name, mm -hmm. but we had the government before the Europeans had the government. And when the Europeans came over, the wow. fractions broke up, the different fractions. And to save wow. our nation, we had to give this free order or document pertaining to all the different fractions. Mm -hmm that we're here in America, so that one will not overpower, overpower the other. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. hey. Brothers, uh, Jordan Neal? No, I just wanted to quickly play angel's advocate. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, I know where you get the term government, because a lot of people quote the, um, the Religious Corporation Act, and um, it says that we are about a body of politics, mm -hmm. and that makes us you know, a government, quote unquote. 
But the prophet, the prophet never emphatically said that we were a, a Moorish government. Mm -hmm. But he did say he'll, he'll, he'll teach us um, everything we need to know to make a to, mm -hmm. um, to run a government. Mm -hmm. So um, I know where that argument comes from that he's talking about a government because that's where like my old group they used to talk about that too. Like he was talking about this Moorish government. But I, I don't know where the prophet emphatically said that we have a Moorish government. He, he brought us our nationality, our divine plea, and making us better citizens to partake in his said government. But I don't know what he specifically said that this is a Moorish government. Peace. Hey, hey. All right. He got a heart from so case, in case you want to hear it. So, so, so this this is the Moorish government. Huh? Oh, this is the government. This is the government. Oh, oh. That's why they have a pyramid on the back. Just like the brother said, uh, more junior citizens. You see, now these junior citizens ended up in slavery. Yeah. Right? And you know how it happened? Same thing happened in Spain. Same thing happened in Egypt. Same thing happened. The rich people, the rich people, the rich Moors. See, them Moors converted to Catholicism and gave you up. You see what I'm saying? Those Moors told Columbus about America. You see? Because it's all about the rich and the poor. It ain't about nationality. It's about people that are rich. So if you Arab and you rich, you're in a good spot today in the world. Mm -hmm. If you're European and you rich, or you Japanese and you rich, if you rich, you go to the rich places. You see the other rich people. They don't go to the cruises we go on. They don't go to the hotels we go to. They go to the places where they go to. You know? So when they go there, you think they care? They don't care when you're Arab, if you're German or you're Japanese. They care if you got this money. And some of them got that old money. So yeah. Why would a government that has all these different things still have a queen and king in England? What's that about? Why well, did they stay there? They're in power, but they're not in power, then why are they there? Something's making them stay there. The House of Windsor. You know what I'm saying? But tying this into what I want to go to, at the end of this chapter, the prophet says, I mean, the end of this article, Morris Leaders Historical Mess of America. Does someone have a, a Morris literature they want to lend us more here? All right? There's a part here, yeah. I'm on page number 21. I'm going to bottom of the left column. It says, read carefully, read carefully the doctrines of the Moorish Science Temple of America. What does the word doctrines mean? Brother Anibe, the doctrines. The doctrines, right? Brother Smith, I'll help you out. What are the doctrines? It's not. It's my understanding to say doctrines are practices. Practices, who's gonna Google it? Doctrine. Just the seal deal. That's fine. It's like pretty much like a set of customs, morals, things that you follow, usually through a religious organization. Thank you. I'm gonna put down teachers book because I want to use one word. So Cyrus here. Doctrines are written uh words that actually end up making law or legislation, whether they're, they're formal or informal, like the doctrine of discovery or the doctrine of the okay. food or the forbidden tree, which is literal to the law. So name one thing you could read to know about the doctrines of the MST. What could you read? You read the Holy Quran, the Moorish Science of America, okay. the Quran, the Bible. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what else could you read to know the doctrines of the MST of A? You read it every meeting. Go so skip a day. Mm -hmm. Divine Constitution and Bible. Divine Constitution and Bible. What else could we read? Brother Turner, maybe you can give it back to me now. The writing on a charter, right? Right? That's well, not you giving us the No, no, no. I can make you a copy. We got a brand new copy. Okay, okay, okay. You got to talk to the assistant secretary and see if he can squeeze you in his schedule. <laughs> right? To, to, to charter the doctrines, this article, the doctrines, read carefully. Right? Read carefully. What does that mean, brother? Brother, uh, assistant chairman, what does it mean to read carefully? Just to just say, read the doctrines, read carefully. Well, analyze. Analyze, right? You want to understand, right? It contains our hopes, hopes, hopes. Hopes, our aims. Rules and articles of religion. Articles of religion. 
All right. So, 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 so from because you're reading it, right? You're reading it, right? So someone told me one of the hopes, and I don't want you to say it. Where can I find it written? The hope. First of all, what is the hope? Wish to come true, right? Right? Hope for peace on earth, the will of men, right? Hope for your children, your family to be safe coming home, right? Hopes. Tell me something that's written that talks about the hopes of the more science of America. Go to Cyrus What's that? Now tell them more. Give me a statement. Something that you hope for. All loyalty to government, tolerance, and unity. That's a hope. We hope the more we're here that, right? Don't we hope the more we learn how to love instead of hate? What else? Um, hope that they'll be better citizens. Hope they'll be better citizens? You see what I'm saying? These are hopes. Right? Hope, peace, brother Skipper Bay. Hope, hope that this flag can make a national divine title to the government in which we live. Hope that more genius citizens and that we would change our action to be better citizens, right? This is our hope. And remember, I, you know, when I first see that, I always think about one of my high school teachers. I don't know. I don't know. They had a thing back in the day. You come in there, they got the aim for the class and everything, and the teacher's trying to accomplish this by the end of the class. And she would sometimes would be aim, sometimes be other head. And brother Skip, I mean, so, I mean, Cyrus said in the beginning of that statement, more to this historical, uh, the divine one about the top of the nation, historical, uh, uh, more to this historical message to America. He said those are the aims, objects, and regulations. And he said he most anxiously hopes. I don't want to say anxiously, but he said he really hopes that we will follow those four things. Which yes. means the law of the government, tolerance, and religion. Yes. As long. yes. So see, in the rules of articles of religion, right? He, he's asking us to read these things. He says here, every member to have a copy. That means, brother. Well, the sheep there wants to get a copy of what's written on the charter. He wants to have a copy, right? Because he read the article. He wants everything the prophet wrote that can help him, right, to do the right thing so that he can follow his hopes, his aims, and he understands his rules and articles of religion, right? So I think this is, is most important, all right? And, and I just want the more to, to think about this, this particular um, this article here again. It says it's historical leaders' message to America. All right. So again, yeah, what the brother base hopes is that if I had a lot of money, you would know that on the seventh day of every month in the New York Times, Brother Condenin Bay would take a full page out and print the article. I had my way. It's a historical message to America that a lot of Americans do not have the message. They don't even know about the message. You know? And this is what, this is what, I don't know if you know this, so you see what's going on in the world. I want to have a big, a big discussion about it, but I know that because I've been driving Uber all over. And a lot of billboards been springing up lately with some people that got some money expressing their views on how things is going in the world, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. so, because they have the money. So you can imagine if every day brothers and sisters went to the bus stop and on the way to the bus stop and on the side of the grocery store was like, you're not black. You're a Moorish American. Come to the Moorish side. Like where every, every way, you know, that's how advertisement works. You know, you're watching the Nick game. You're not a black man. Come to the Moorish side to America. Two thirty seven. you know. Like if you keep on having this, what did I tell them more before? If you got 10 members or 10 people come to the temple and one join, that means if I want 10 members, I got to reach 100 people. If I want 100 new members, I got to reach 1,000 people. So I'm pretty sure if the message of the prophet got out to 100,000 people, 100,000 people learn about our hopes, our aims, our rules, our articles, and religion, I'm pretty sure you have a nice amount of people that would join the temple. Um, I'm not even saying it'd be 100,000. But what if it was 1,000? I think that's like one percent. Is this okay? I just want to ask while you were on that topic, great um topic. I wanted to know. I know these articles were pulled from different places. Is there a way that we can possibly um I guess get a qualified place of where they're from? 
like I know some may have been taken out of maybe even the, the voice of the father or was it the voice of the father the Morris tribe or it could have been taken out of um Chicago defender but is there a way or something that maybe has already been done I figured it's I, already been compiled I have a way yeah no it's already been compiled so no 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 I have a way. You got to get Brother Serrano, man. Right. Let's see. Yeah, the because prophets you, you have you ever seen one of them other Moorish groups and you get a booklet <laughs> and in their booklet they actually have the Holy Quran, the questionary, Moorish lurch and all that, like the together. Mm -hmm. You've seen that, right? Mm -hmm. you seen that about Turner Bay? Oh, no, I just wanted to. Yeah, we're almost out of time. We're going to have a real quick one. No, I just wanted to, so everybody will understand, I just wanted to read the definition of government real quick. Okay. The governing body of a nation, state, or community. So we can understand that. It's long. It's long. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Bay going to get that information out for them? Well, Serrano Bay is going to put together our rules and articles of religion with our hopes and our hands. We're going to have a, we're going to get a new camp with us. We need some more new year, more. Yeah, more. <laughs> this is what we need, more. Praise Allah. We need a listing of all of this. Oh, oh. And where we can find it. Oh, wait. And then we'll put together a little Temple 34 pamphlet. It could be part of your project of it's from out of that, and you have your, you know, send your statement, your public statement or whatever. So let's say if we can get that together and make a little pamphlet. Well, what are you where are you talking about that? Right there. See, we in charge. Right there. Divine Constitution model. The article editorial from the prophet. Right? But we're out of time. Thanks, Secretary Time. Got the system channel here. Everybody's okay. Milani Bay. I just saw like five people run right past you. <laughs> Praise a lot more. Listen, I appreciate the more taking out of your day um, to come and learn about these teachings. Because these hopes and these aims and these rules of articles of religion we have for our people. That's, that's why we're here. Most of us is here. You know, individually, you can take these things like the prophet says. I taught you enough. Save the nation. Take and go save yourself. If you had the love in your heart that you didn't just want to save you and your family. You want to save your neighbors and your friends and your family. You want to save this nation. Some of you might even have aspirations on an international level. That's one of our hopes. That's one of our aims. Love, truth, peace, freedom, justice being taught universally in all lands, right? So praise Allah. Thank you so much, brother, uh, system chairman, if you don't mind, and leave me in for the minutes. Peace, folks. Peace. Come and go with me through my father's house. Awesome. Through my father's house. Awesome. To my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. There is peace, peace, peace. They all love over there in my father's house. Awesome. In my father's house. Awesome. In my father's house. They all love over there in my father's house. There is peace, peace, peace. It's January 15, 1929, Prophet warns all Muslims, governors, ordered to read proclamation at each meeting. I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical, agitating speeches while at work in their homes or on the streets. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans. It causes confusion. Remember, your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be of severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, and we are for love, truth, peace, and freedom. And when these principles are violated, justice then must take its course. Any member or group of members who hold malicious feelings toward the temple or the prophet or violate the divine covenant of the Moorish movement will receive their, their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by the prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their card, button, cease wearing their turban or fez, and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet 
Nobu Jirali. And if the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting their prophet and the temple. This is an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sins by order of Prophet Nabu Jirali. Peace. <laughs> Praise Allah. So I'd like to um, welcome you all to Secretary Tom. Uh, we just reached Secretary Tom. If you could pass uh, the collection. Yeah. Mom, Sister M. Serrano Bay. Wow. Islam Sister Mufti, would you like to come take up the collection? Yes. Yeah. Come on, just raise your hand. I know what's wrong. Islam Sister Secretary, Sister J. Jordan. Islam Sister Secretary, Sister J. Jordan. Do you have any announcements? Take that. Islam. 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 Excuse me. I have a few announcements. Praise Allah. Um, so the upcoming <clears throat> announcements that I have yesterday we celebrated the Sisters Auxiliary 95th anniversary and we were able to hold on let me see if this is better Islam Islam Islam, yesterday we celebrated the 95th anniversary of the Sisters Auxiliary. And um, you can view the celebration. Uh, it was done virtually. You can view it on the national Facebook page. Um, and you can also find links to it on our Temple Facebook page as well. The upcoming announcements that I have include a chic training. We'll be having it on Wednesday, December 20th. Um, that's this week coming up. If you're interested in attending the Sheik training, please let uh, one of the Sheiks know, and we'll make sure to uh, post the Zoom information um, in the chat. Mm -hmm. The Sheik training is for um, members, it's for active members. So please be sure uh, to reach out to any one of the Sheiks or the Grand Sheik, the chairman, if you um, have any follow-up questions. The Prophet's birthday celebration this year will be held on Monday. It's a Monday. It's held on January 8th, 2024. Uh, it will be held at Temple 21 in Brooklyn. And I spoke with Sister B. Williams Eel. They are um, just getting together to start planning. And so she's going to be sure to let me know. Um, when I can uh, participate in, in helping with the planning from uh, the Sisters Auxiliary um, viewpoint. Uh, so I'll let you know what uh, when we can reach out and what they're going to need. Uh, so if you guys can mark your calendars for January 8th, that's a Monday for the Prophet's birthday celebration at Temple 21. Just a reminder that our Holy Day meeting is held on Fridays starting at 7 30 p.m. It goes to 10 p.m. If you are able to make your meeting in person, um, the Zoom is available. Uh, we also have Sunday school held on Sundays from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. Again, if you're not able to make your meeting in person, the Zoom option is available. Uh, just a friendly reminder that if you are um, an uh interested in the Sheik training and you're an active member uh, and you can't make your meeting in person, um, you may want to send a little message to any Sheik or um, Grand Sheik, the chairman, or you can just shoot an email to msta-secretary34 at gmail.com to let us know um, that you can't make it. If you want to make an announcement, that you'd like to be given during secretary time, please let us know and we can make it for you or you can raise your hand um, and give the announcement if you have it. And if you'd like to make or pay your dues, you can do so in person during those times that I mentioned earlier or on Cash App. It's dollar sign MSTA34. That's dollar sign MSTA34. Um, if there are any questions that you might have, please let us know. Uh, you can also reach the temple's email. And yes, our temple's email is morishsciencetemple 
no.34 at gmail.com. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any one of the sheets. And um, this is the perfect time to uh, raise any questions that you might have today for Sunday school. With that, I say peace. Hey. Peace, praise Allah. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you so much. So, as I just stated, we have our sheep training. Those who are interested in learning about it, you can reach out to our grand sheep after the meeting if you're here in person. If you're online, you can um, send the email, the email to our simple email. Just to reiterate, Prophet Nabi Ali's birthday is on a Monday, January 8th, couple number 21. Does anyone else have any Thank you. Yeah. 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 Islam. Yeah. Brother Kid Bay. Yeah. He was looking for the prices yeah. on awards remedy. Yeah. Islam. 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 Brother Kid Bay. Islam. Islam. I'll do a reading and I can also put into the chat for the prices of the Prophet's remedies. Islam. Islam, the bath compound, the Morris antiseptic bath compound is $12. The Morris bodybuilder and purifier is $12. And the Morris mineral and healing oil is $15. That's a piece. There's a lot. Islam, thank you. Thank you so Islam, just to see Silva. That's fine. Right now, I'm just going to tell them boys to check out the um, National Physical Delivery um, Virtual um, Self Train Live. I think Brother Ed, Brother Chibai, 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 they, uh, it's on our Facebook page. I think since Jordan says they placed it on the Temperature and Four Facebook page, as well as it's uh, in the National uh, uh, More Science of America Inc. Facebook page. It, there's already a bunch of posts above it, but if you look in the videos, I think it's there, maybe it's uh, pinned. But the Sisters of Auxiliary, Morris National Sisters of Auxiliary, celebrated 95 years, their 95 year anniversary, which they once a year, which is a beautiful demonstration because. Mm -hmm. The sisters auxiliary is the auxiliary where the sisters come together and they have their own separate leadership and it's a very very strong demonstration and of course we have a lively um and long history of having our sisters auxiliary um after care temple 34 so there are a lot of memories with our memory lane um and just uh briefly i was member our first chairman of the sisters auxiliary that i remember was sister german bay then i remember it was past next uh, to sit the past more ill was one of the first times I saw a chairman that wasn't a branch teacher. Uh, sister past more ill, uh, famously, she did a lot of things, a lot of fundraising. She actually raised the funds to purchase the profit chair, pick the profit chair, and purchased it. So, sister past more ill was in there. Sister past more ill actually left our grand body. She got married to his brother, brother A. Sean Bay, who's a member of branch temple number 11, Syracuse. And we took, we ended up leaving grand body and took my sister out of our grand body, but we still honor her because she left her legacy here at Temple 34. After her, I think Sister Drainill um, uh, took Sister Bento. Sister Bento, maybe she left her for a little while. So she must have been before Sister Pastor or after. Sister Bento was after Sister Pastor. Oh, you were before Sister Daniel. I thought it was Daniel Silver. Well, Silver didn't take much. Sister Silver was the chairman. I was getting there. You got it. You got it. And then Sister Draynell. And then Sister Be Sister G. Draynell. For those that don't know, Sister Draynell hasn't been in the temple for a long time. But Sister G. Draynell, if you do know that name rings a bell, she's from Temple 34. And she transferred to Temple 54. Um, uh, then we had Sister Elberry Bay, who served for a very long time, and she was the chairman of the Moore Sisters of Auxiliary Temple 34 before Sister J. Jordan, who is now our current chairman. I think it's on her third or fourth year as the chairman of the book of Temple 34. So all of that came together on this program. It was really, it was actually a lot of work. They actually asked us to be involved. 
uh, a few weeks ago, but it came off really good. It came off very well. So yeah, if you get a chance, you can do that on Facebook. Peace. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, really quickly, I want to give some commentary. I think. Uh, but the West Side so did a, a wonderful job uh, putting everything together, the videos, and, uh, everything, the way that the train was even moving, the graphics, and you could see the different faces and the pauses. As far as the, the theme of the Love Train or the Morris Train, right? I think it was it was a beautiful thing. Also, um, giving light to legacy members, which to me is extremely important, especially in more science of the Whether you're a new member or you, you've been here for a while and you know, I think a lot of times, you know, we we as members in our local temples, we kind of get uh, tunnel vision as far as what's going on in other temples and and how much uh, accomplishments other brothers and sisters may have contributed to the organization. And as far as the legacy that their parents, that their grandparents and so on and so forth may have left behind. And um, I think... You know, when we think about this organization, More Science of America Incorporated, I think there's um, those who are around the More Science of America don't truly consider, and even us in the organization don't truly consider that those who walk with the prophet, their children are still here with us, still participate with us, still make their meetings today. We might have a conversation with a brother or sister and don't even know that their great grandparent made the prophet's bed or make the prophet's tea or something. There's something with the prophet and they're still here. So I'm going to call uh, my brother, Brother O'Ani Bay, and then this is it. And then, right? Uh, yeah, right. Yes, it's on 2 p.m. That's fine. I think Brother Smith and myself were pointing out the um, main thing with Sister Jordan. I'm just going to also say, I just want to give um, the Sarsfield the same opportunity to be able to communicate. But just to see again that same concept of sisterhood, right? Sisters also. So the sister was burning the midnight oil, I'm pretty certain, and that concept of having to condense everything, gather, make it look as beautiful as it did, adjusting, adding in those fine details, the things that, you know, picking up. I don't know, thousand grains of rice isn't complicated, but it's very tedious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that concept of her having to go through that process. And it was still her son's birthday. And so I just wanted to give you know give those extra those, those the extra thought because I'm sure it took a lot of focus and time to be able to put into it in dividing of oneself. So I just thought that that was also a great concept of the understanding of also sisterhood, sisters auxiliary. Could you imagine what it looked like? When they had to prepare for the prophet, mm -hmm. could you imagine that mad dash and run, making sure everything was there when he needed to eat, when he needed beer, the bedding, the uh, extra mm -hmm. set of bedding, the towels, the soap, the the lotions, the whatever, just all of those things you know, to securing and making sure someone is okay. So Sister Jordan will have to hand. Islam, I'm gonna go brother Vasa, Sister Jordan. I'll proceed to the chair. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Islam, Sister J. Jordan, Chairman. Islam. I just um just wanted to thank you all so much. I want to thank you, Sister Cecilia, for all your assistance. I want to thank my family because they, you know, like you mentioned, they had to be patient with me. And so I appreciate that. Um, I just wanted to also um announce or kind of just let the Moors know, uh, Grand Chief will be speaking, I believe, Friday. Our holy day, he's going to be on the national platform uh, coming up. And so I'll post more information about it, just a heads up. Uh, so we, it's going to be a little tricky, but nothing we haven't done before where we, where we tune in on a national platform for the first portion, and then we tune into our Zoom for the second portion. But uh, we'll definitely uh, walk through it and uh, it'll be smooth. So just wanted to put that out on your radar. So that is a peace. Peace, right? Hey. So our grand chief is going to be speaking on Friday, so we should be uh, attentive and be aware, and so we can all tune in on national call. Uh, but uh, why Cyrus? Hey, Islam. And I, I was just adding on that uh, last part in terms of the program. Twenty nine. Uh, 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 u
So when you, when you watch the program, you'll notice that the two weeks for once is still the hit on the head. It's always a tremendous amount of work getting together for the class birthday or any program. I don't know why we always start stuff at the last minute. You know, we didn't have much time. So like we were down to the last minute trying to make adjustments. And I mean, when you do it that way, there's all these little glitches. Um, there were a couple of slides that were missed. Uh, but we were like 99% there. It, when we watch the program, there's a little hitch in the beginning um, where I, I, I'm not sure how it happened. I don't know if I was supposed to be introduced to the fire. I didn't get introduced. So it seemed like Sister Johnson they was waiting on something and it caused a little train pile up. You know, I, I was joking. I was to myself afterwards, like, train left out and I had to run and catch up and jump back onto the train. I was supposed to be conducting it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sister Foster Hill had a portion where she kind of got caught in the pinch of that. And uh, when we watched it, actually, it was, it was kind of awkward going through it in the moment of uh, to back for it that and wanted to know that she was some, somehow she was coming late. Somebody probably brought her late to 71. So she had just entered the room and she was telling them, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, I'm almost there. And they put the camera on her. And uh, I, when it was happening, I felt a little bad. But when I watched it afterwards, I realized. And I called her this morning before she went to Temple to let her know. I don't know if you realize that you got put into a little test. Mm -hmm. And what she demonstrated was a, a really touching uh, 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 demonstration of strength and, and um, composure. Mm -hmm. Because you can see, she like, they cut the camera on and she's trying to figure out where am I even supposed to be standing at. And then she kind of goes into this little pace and then she makes a slip. She made a four-year slip. She called herself the Grand African Chairman. And then she corrected herself. But the way she realized it, and she stopped, and she says, you know, she basically says, "Hey, I'm, I'm nervous. Like, I'm nervous." And then she, then she kind of makes, she says, "I'm going to make a joke of it immediately, like without having the time to think about or prepare anything." She says, "Sometimes we just gotta have a little humor. It was the perfect thing to say." And then if you watch her, she's gathering herself up after that. She's recomposing herself, mm -hmm. which is what the more divine and national movement is about, mm -hmm. which is very powerful um, to see. So I wanted to, I wanted to mention that. So when the boys were watching, you know, it's kind of a little bit of backstory on how that happened. But how I looked at it, it was like I actually like watching that now because it's like, look at this system. You know the way she did it. Um, praise a lot, peace, more. Peace, praise a lot. I want to um. Islam, for the Oani base. Islam, you getting ready to go? Okay, all right. Um, just just to share something really quickly, um, in the spirit of Sisters of Auxiliary, uh, we have Sister M Whitehead Hill, who was also known as Sister M Lovett Bay, who was Prophet Noble Jali's aunt-in-law, and she is one of the first sisters of the Hill. Love it, Ill, also known as uh, Sister um, Whitehead. Whitehead Bay. Bay. Mm -hmm. And uh, our sister was the first woman to be the head of any Islamic, and not just in America, but in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think sometimes we don't consider those things. And, you know, I was thinking about um, even Sister Pearl Juwali, the prophet's wife, and I was wanted to ask Grand Sheik, Brother W. Clinton and Bay, who, if I'm not mistaken, was able to meet the prophet's wife, and I wanted to see if our Grand Sheik would be able to come up here, and which it doesn't look like he's even hearing me. He opened it, some air. Yeah, yeah. Praise a lot. Yeah, warm air. Islam, yes, I wanted to know if you could share anything with us uh, with, well, first, you could correct me if I'm wrong, if you met the prophet's wife. And if you have, um, is there anything that you can share with us? Just the pearl duality. Yes, sir. So, thank you. So, pray, praise Allah, Lord. Praise Allah. You know, I got different thoughts about that. You know, obviously, when I was younger, oh, you get to meet the prophet's wife. She came to a meeting. We were at the convention. She came to the meeting. She didn't come to all the meetings. I didn't see her active in the organization. But she's the prophet's wife. Like, well, G. Cook Bay, I can already talk to the prophet. You know, I respect all of the brothers and sisters, the prophet's wife, whoever made it bad, made it grow. But the prophet himself is going to tell you it's not about him. It's not about Brother G. Cook Bay, not about the prophet's wife, not about Muhammad. It's about the way. It's about the path. 
But the prophet said exactly because if you don't, if you're not careful, they're going to make a shrine out of my grave where I was born. You know how people do. So yeah, it was a privilege. But but what what other than saying I met the prophet's wife? Okay. Praise Allah. Thank you, Chance But I, I think the important thing is give honor to the prophet, give honor to all the masters. But it's the, the teaching. Remember, Allah used them as a vehicle to speak to you. You know, I had this young man in Baltimore. He was like searching for something. And all I did is say when he got out the car, I said, he said something about God. I said, God speaks to man through man. And he was just like, and so that's very important. So give honor to the prophet's wife, give honor to all the Moors, give honor to all the Moors in the past. And that's why when I hear brothers and sisters talk about Kirkman Bay and Mealy Hill and, and what? It was just a brother like you. The sister like you. They had the up, they had the down. So, so praise the Lord for it. And I, I, I want the Moors to get caught up on who your grand sheik is, who the leader is, it's about the message. And when we, we focus on the message, we're going to lose all that. Now remember, all of that stuff that we're talking about, believe it or not, has to do with vanity. Mm -hmm. In some kind of level. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Prophet Muhammad said, give a donation, don't even put your name on it. It's not to come and see the brother Clendenin may wing in the hospital. Well, what's that part about my name? It's a donation. You're doing it. So that that to me is understandable. Because I hear them all the time, you know, and they're like, and I I got in trouble once. I think Osiris might have been on the phone. There's a chapter, if you go into unto thee, I grant, uh book by the Rosicrucian. There's a chapter on there called True Honor. And it talks about how that young man, like, my father's the king, and my father did this. What that have to do with you? That has to do with the house of My father's the king. I'm the king. No, no, we're not doing that no more. We're not doing that. You get honor for what something else did that you didn't do. You're not giving. You're not giving the sovereignty to someone else. You got your sovereignty, and you got to answer for what you do. Honor to your father, and honor to your mother, and honor to all those people around you. But it's 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 what you have to do is the true honor. You know, and how you truly honor the prophet's wife, and truly honor the prophet. I go to Booker Bay. He's the way he say. We went to, you know, he's a former Grand National Chairman. So we went to his bedside, we passing away. And everyone was like, what about this woman? Uh, that was, well, Amelia was a good woman. She wasn't the prophet. What about this sister? That was a good sister, but she wasn't the prophet. What about that? Like, they all good. But they wasn't the prophet. And the prophet said, oh, the prophet is not about me. Now, I know it's hard to think about that. It's hard for me. Because you know, I have a lot of things. I'm sure we're saying like a lot of things you want to just throw out there. It's like you know, like people put it out there. Like I met Michael Jordan, or uh, this is my friend, or I went to this thing, and they like trying to make you like you rubbed up next to something that makes you something. And so I just think that's important. I didn't want to miss that point. And I don't want to take away from what you're saying. You know, I want the more to say focus. You know, so the chairman, I think, I don't know if had his hand. And by the way, these cards are. <laughs> I didn't even know we still had some of these. Sister Seals, they'll tell me these are old cards from the past, still got my name on it. So mm -hmm. If anyone needs one, and Brother Jordan now is looking up some new ones. And so we got old school, and Brother Jordan has got some new ones. Yeah, this, this, I put a stack of them by the, by the door on the sign the sheet. You can take as many as you want. Uh -huh. So, turn about you want to talk to me, or you just have a question in general? No, I just wanted to ask a question real quick. All right, go ahead. That's all. Islam. This says, um, true. It says true. Bond citizens. When it speaks about the, the the citizens of who he's calling or who he, or who he came, and now what type of citizen or what class of Americans? Who are American citizens? What citizens is he talking about? Because he is is making a a, a, a blatant difference of a class of citizens, right? So I know people should be educated. About the class of citizenship. You know, not that I'm involved with any group. Let's be get this clear because you know it's it's out there, it's a thought, right? So a sovereign citizen is an astronaut because 
there's a sovereignty already given. So you, you unless you have a, 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 a government of your own, that you can be in America under law, a self-governed individual. Don't get me wrong. But I'm a more and more side temple of America. So, but I just want to know do we understand the classes of citizens. There you go. Slop, just to see sales one for the Y Sara sale, and then the grand should never have anything to say after that. And then go to the second thing. Just see sales up. Um, thank you, Mom. I just wanted to go back a little bit to um, Mr. Charles Raleigh. So I do think that there's significant. So I understand exactly what the thing they think. So, that, so not to take away from that part, but to balance it, right? So that the ultimate goal, as Brother Dimitri was talking about, was that he was your brother man come to show you the way. And that was pretty much it. And so not to get so hooked up on everything else as though you're constantly looking for how to be a slave, you know, the better way to say it. You just gotta, you gotta have somebody you gotta follow behind, so to speak. Like, I need a master. You know, so it's like, don't tie yourself in that way. Understand he was your brother man to bring to that spiritual message. But I was looking at with the relation of the importance of Sister Pearl Durali as being his wife, is that not every sister has the experience of having a prophet or a husband. And so I think that when it just comes into that, um, family concept, I think that's an important part of how we may need to understand this uniting. I think it gives us something to fathom, right? Fathom what a husband should look like, fathom what a wife should look like, based on what we know the standards of one who is living within unit harmony with Allah should look like. So I think that just for that purpose, like as Brother was talking about, it's just an example to get you to where we need to go. And so that, that was that thought. When with um the concept of the sovereignty and connecting to it, we are in essence, like so in Max Train and Scepter, the sons of men by equal have agreed to raise the sovereign power and set as ruler over each other, right? So that concept of the dem of the will within the people in a, in a democracy, but the ultimate um, fine portion of it to where we can just make laws without any checks and balances, we can do whatever, that definitely is not something that's had. But when you speak to the class of the citizen, he tells you that until you nationality and your divine creed, you're not tied in. And so I think that, that it also speaks to the way that our brothers and sisters are also separated as far as within those classes, if you will, of citizenship. We sometimes debate ourselves by clicking to those particular names that lead to it, not necessarily knowing our connection to our lineage. But at a certain point, our lineage does become important when it comes back to our um, our rights as Moorish Americans. How we're descendants of Moroccans and born in America, I think there's some of those things tie back in with relations to nationality and citizenship. And that when you're talking about the different classes of citizens, I think that he's, that's why he goes to that part and part and partial, not saying, but my understanding, looking at the part and partial, goes right back again to what you said. So there are a lot of things that ties us to being a citizen that the prophet knows as well as saying some of these things that are given to you aren't necessary for the ratification of our people. So things that even in the amendment, some of those things aren't necessary if you understand who you are, who your forefathers were. And so I think that, that um, it's a very um, important topic. And I think this is something that if someone's interested, this may be something they to um, balance through with those um, who know law. Like, you're not really talking about those, those who know law and communicating and telling the song to your king's table or apply. I think all that takes you studying, not just from then, but also with a new scope. Because I do know a lot of people, like for myself, retain some information from years ago on something pertaining to this topic, but haven't truly looked it up in the present, the same information with the mind and person that I've become from the last time I looked it up. Because at point in time, things open up differently to you. So it's a whole different thing that I was glad to do. Praise a lot. Yeah. Um, so at, just to come up with the system really quickly, um, in relation to the chapter on magistrate and subject, our equals have agreed to raise, right, to sovereign power. So as Brother K. Turner Bay had mentioned, as far as being a sovereign citizen is an oxymoron because the sovereignty lies within citizenship. So just really quickly, um, if we read the 10th Amendment in the, in the um, I'm about to say the preamble, I don't know why I said the preamble, but in the, um, the Bill of Rights, it says the powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. 
And so as we engage in our politics and we elect those who, you know, our representatives and congressmen and so on and so forth, this is us, in a sense, agreeing, right, thy equals to raise to sovereign power via our election, right? Mm -hmm. um, but the last time, it's fine. And to the question, was it the true American citizen based on the context of the saying that this is wrong? Constitution of the United States over and over. And then the Constitution, Article 1, Section 2.3, it actually wrong. describes three different types of citizens. One, wrong. if you listen very carefully to what I'm going to read, it never says slavery or wrong. slaves, but it speaks to us between the lines because we're excluded except for it uses the word slave. If you can catch it, see if you can catch it. Talking about non slaves, or it means slaves are not counted. That says, uh, union according to the respective numbers which shall be determined. And this is the way you determine four elections determined by adding the whole number of free persons, right? Free that's where the slave is for. Well, free up to the free of slavery, uh, including those bound to a term of year, those are indentured servants, are also oh. included, right? Excluding Indians not taxed. And tax uh, Indians are not part of that true American citizen because they're not taxed. They only need to elect. So they're different, or you would say it's a classification. Right. Right. This is all other persons, uh, three fifths of all other persons, right? Which is what this describes in slavery. It's described, right? So you had three classes at the beginning, which one of them was changed with the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery. Prophet said there's no need for the 14th and 15th Amendment based on our situation, right? Which made us citizens. Yeah. And then he describes in the uh, divine one about the prophet of the nation that you, the true citizen, needs to, even if you are, have the privilege of the 13th and the 14th Amendment, you're not really a true citizen because you don't, you have to have a decent flag in your forefront. It's like all of the other countries, it's wrong, which he describes. It's wrong. They have a flag, they, you know, they're American, British, American, German, American, Japanese, Japanese, et cetera. So I think the true American citizen would not only be a legal citizen that even was uh, 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 came from slavery, but when the slavery part is uh, removed and you have a decent flag, have two flags, the American and a decent flag, those are the true American citizens. It's not another grand sheet. It's not part of Congress. Yeah, I just want to add to the conversation. Uh, it's very interesting. When I first joined the temple, you used to hear the more saying that the Moorish Americans had Dominant nationality and superior citizenship. It is long. That ties into what I read earlier with the prophecy without a flag of our forefathers, there's no national and divine title to the government in which we live. Right? And so, so, so when you look at that, and what the other Moore said, not only that, what about European women couldn't even vote? Back in the day, you had to have land to vote. These are all different classes. What about a rich citizen? Versus a poor citizen. They're both citizens, but I got millions of dollars. I, I get it to do things in the government that you don't get to do because of my money. And then what about the citizen that becomes naturalized, but you can't be president of the United States because you wasn't born in the country? Mm -hmm. That's another class of citizen, right? I'm a citizen, but you can't run. You can run for everything up to governor, but you can't run for president. But if you're president, you have to be born. So there's so many different levels of that understanding. And then, and then to bring it forward, because we have things that we're talking about, well, let's give it back, more ingenious citizens. So when those first more, we the people, you know what I'm saying, setting up everything that's going on here, when they stepped out the scene, you got the indentured servants, like your brother said, the people that's in slavery, you got the people that was coming over that wasn't born here. We had a lot of things going on. So those are the different, you know, when the prophecy is class as a citizen, we always think all Americans are the same. And then when you get to the part about being privileged, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're a citizen enough because you can become the president of the United States. You can become a governor of a state. You could be a mayor of a city. You could be a congressman, a senator, and still be a black man. So then what is that? What kind of citizen is that? If you're a black man, you don't have a proclaiming nationality. So you have a privilege that can be taken every 25 years. We've got to put certain things in place. So that's a, it's like a, a whole other thing for the Civic class, right? Go to Kermit Bay? It's long. It's long. It's long. Um, it's long. Yeah. Could you just uh, make it brief? Yeah, yeah it's just one. Because I see the town on the phone. Um, I just want to say one thing when it comes to class of citizens, the names and the color, the color code class, they still existed even back in the days because I remember one of my family members 
they were telling me about the records in the uh, county clerk's office would have some of our ancestors marked as white. So it's real different. With that, I said, please. What's wrong with us? Just the secretary? Islam. Islam? Islam. More signs, simple number 34, finance received for December the 17th, 2023. Took in a public collection of $3.50. More remedies, we received $15. Literature and supplies, we received $2.50. Uplifting fund received $6.50. Local building fund received $8.50. Coming out to a grand total of $47. And a total attendance in person and online of $25. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're we'll the financial report. So, um, I move that finance report be accepted with necessary correction. So, can I get a second? Second. So, it was moved by Sister C. Stilzell and the second number of the WTM Bay. Finance be accepted with necessary corrections at the end. So, you all heard the motion. Any okay. on readiness? I'm ready for the question. Ready for the question. Question. Allow those who are in favor, show them the most way of voting. Those who will oppose, let the secretary know that the motion is in favor. Okay. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Are the chairman, they're not getting that carry button. You want to tell them how the carry goes, brother? Praise Allah. Y'all get some carry away. They're not saying carry. You know, let them know how it goes. Carry. 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 Praise the Lord. All right, space the east. Put your phone down. I feet at a 90 degree angle. Five fingers on your left hand, two fingers on your right. As we repeat the Moorish American prayer after Sister M. Serrano Bay. Allah, the Father of the Universe. The Father of Love, Truth, Peace, Freedom, and Justice. Allah is my protector, my God, and my salvation by night and by day. Through his holy prophet, Durali. Amen. Praise Allah. Peace and love. Peace and love. Stop ready to get a great job. You know, you put on the spot, you know. That's how Brother Kid Baby say.